What's going on? This is yours truly, Results, coming to you live from my personal studio, rocking with the industry blogging. You already know what it is, Trophy Case. Not a day go by, go by. not a day go by, go by. where well, I ain't tryna get it I Stay on my grind, on my grind. cause it stays on my mind, on my mind. So I'm setting bills to the ceiling That's always been The trophy case is a mix between uh, pain, trying to come up um, And it's a reflection of the timestamp of my life in the past year So it's um it has a, a, a undertone of trying to get on. You you'll hear that consistently throughout the songs, but it it attacks different points of view in different scenarios. So there's like relationship, there's job, there's dreams, aspirations. So I think it's very relatable in that aspect. It's it's different, you know. I'm taking it in for what it is because the last uh, project. We uh we did things differently, and now this project we attack we attack things a lot in a different manner. So I'm getting a response that you know people enjoy certain songs, and and I'm the type of person I want to hear good, bad, whatever. You know, let's have that conversation. If if the shit whack, then let me know it's whack. You know, but. You know, let's let's talk about the music because I, I feel like I have something good that needs to be heard. So it was it was all responses are good and what I've been getting has been good. Favorite tracks. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Um, the first one that sticks out is, is balance, of course. Um, and that's just because of what it what it means to me. And uh the the time that I took to make it the the second track would have to be need you to know um and that track actually came that was one of the easiest tracks to write um because it just it just poured out i mean it's all true events from a to b and and most of the songs are all true events um and the last song would be not a day go by and that that's just because it's I feel like, you know, you wake up and you, you're trying to get something, you know, whether that's a paycheck or a degree or promotion. It's not a day that go by where you ain't trying to achieve something. So if I had to pick, I would say the whole album, but I'm going to go with those three tracks. Um, the features, I have a, I have a small circle, first off, um, of of people that I take opinions from or I value their opinions. So um, when some of the songs are, are in the developmental stage, uh, me, and my, me and my team may have an ear for who might sound good on this track or who may have an impact. Um, and, and I'm all about talent. So, you know, I reached out to, to Malik, Lonnie, Fizzles, Kari, Conrad, because I felt like these are guys who who speak about something in their verses and and they can they can deliver bars to to challenge me to want to make the best music possible. So it wasn't like going after certain people because oh this person is on this level or this clout, but it was it was it's like a sport to me. So it's like let's let's go head to head with one some of the best lyricists that I know of. So I I think it's it's about having a unique sound in a way, but I feel like it's it's about the artist itself because even even if your sound is similar, typically people want to compare you to somebody, whether that's somebody local or somebody that's on. They compare you, but what makes everybody different, what makes me different, is is my story, my life. Like he he might sound similar, he might do or he might dress a certain way, but he didn't live the same life I live. He doing something different. So my story makes me different. And I think that appeal to certain people that can relate to your story if they're going through it. So I I feel like there's there's people here that go through story, uh, pain and struggle and can relate. 
but there's also people everywhere else. And sometimes we just stick to what we know. And, you know, sometimes you got to branch out, feed home and, and feed the road as well. Need you to know. If you ain't sung number 12, need you to know verse 2 tells you everything about, well, no, it, it leaves out a lot of details. But it summarizes about what, what, how True got started and what what it is, who's behind it. So to, to summarize it real fast, True came about, I was in college, my, my, my right-hand man, Amp and I, you know, we were doing music along with Fizzles, and um, a summer came around, and and I guess we was already thinking about it, but it was like let's let's solidify this, let's put a name to it, let's start moving with it, and uh, I came up with True, and he was like, nah, that's that's not enough. Like, Amp was like, nah, what about True E, like. Yeah, that shit <laughs> dope, yeah. And ever since then it was just we got back on campus, True E started, you know, really running with it and, and brought Fizzles on to the team. And from there the campus knew who we was. We was killing the shows, they was knowing the songs, we made the anthems. The crazy part is I wanted to make a project that wasn't like a a moment, but something that you could live with years later so a lot of the songs um you can probably listen to months later and still be going through something because it's life like life gives you different elements different things and uh that's what i was trying to achieve with this project and i think i i kind of got it down to a t with a lot of the songs because it's not just this moment it's it's going to grow with you and change and you may come back to it and like, yo, this song really connects with me now. So, uh, you know, that's what I was trying to achieve. Yeah, so it, it, we, we did a release party for it um, um, to, to give key fans or, or individuals that heard about it a chance to, to interact with me and, you know, try to build that relationship and give them the opportunity to hear the project first. So that happened. January 16th, and that was an important date because my whole motto was one verse away, and uh, the typical verse is 16 bars, so one was January 16th, that's a verse away. So it was it was all a play strategically to, to incorporate the one verse away. So that was the, the listen party, and then we did something on the 9th of February where we came out with the project for a dollar for that day, which it did pretty well, and I've uh, been pushing ever since. I am results. Go to my site, oneverseaway.com, or whynotbetrue.com, or on SoundCloud at One Verse Away. You already know. <laughs>